On Instagram, the kids made their deals. One 16-year-old asking of his connection, trying to see if you can do 130 for 40 30s. That's slang for buying 40 M30 pills for $130. But these are not prescription oxycodone M30s. Instead, these are counterfeit pills made to look like the real thing, laced with the deadly drug fentanyl. The addiction is what drives these kids. This is a Carrollton Police Street Crime Sergeant. He's talking in an exclusive interview with WFAA. He works undercover, so we're concealing his identity. They make money off of selling pills, uh, and they use that money to buy more pills for their own personal consumption. His unit investigated at least a dozen teenage overdoses that began last September in Carrollton. Three kids died. His unit's work led to the arrests of two men, a woman, and eight teenage fentanyl dealers. This substance is so dangerous and it's deadly that we didn't have time to waste. This work started outside of the spotlight, like much police work does. Robert Arredondo is Carrollton's police chief. A former Dallas police commander, Arredondo started January 3rd and he's found himself at the center of the North Texas fight against fentanyl. When they say one pill can kill, it is absolutely 100% true. The bodies of teenagers began showing up at the Dallas County Morgue in 2020. There's been at least 21 deaths to date. The youngest was 11. Most were found in their bedrooms by family members having overdosed alone. My heart goes out for the city of Carrollton. Lance Sumter oversees a federal program targeting drug trafficking. Pick a city in this metroplex, in this Carrollton, someday. Hopefully it's not next week, hopefully it's not next month. There is nothing special about Carrollton that drew the problem there. As the overdoses kept happening in Carrollton, the sergeant's unit narrowed in on this house on Highland Drive. That's where Luis Navarrete and Magali Cano lived. Court records say detectives watched as the couple supplied deadly drugs to students from nearby R.L. Turner High School. Their investigation also led them to Jason Villanueva, who court papers say directly or indirectly supplied the eight underage drug dealers. It really goes to show how easily a juvenile can be influenced. Uh, and those adult drug dealers were using their influence on young children and, and preying on them. The sergeant told us the pills typically sell on the streets for about $10 each. Sometimes these pills, they'll get four uses out of a single pill, so they'll break it into quarters uh, and get four uses out of one pill. So it's a really cheap high. It is. But just a little bit of this can kill you. Absolutely. There is no consistency in the way that the pills are made. There could be a fatal amount of fentanyl on one side of a single pill and the other side have absolutely nothing. Early on, he says the kids may have thought they were buying legitimate oxycodone pills. He no longer believes that's the case. In my opinion, at this point in March 2023, these kids know it's fentanyl. Myself and a lot of the officers in my unit were parents, so this is, uh, it hits home with us. We want to work to protect these kids. 14-year-old Jose Alberto Perez died January 26th. His mother says he's one of the three kids that died from a fentanyl overdose, although his cause of death still hasn't been determined by the authorities. Que no saben el dolor que le causan a uno y que ellos son seres humanos y no sé si tengan hijos, pero el perder un hijo es algo muy duro, muy fuerte, que yo no se lo deseo a nadie ni a ellos mismos. What's striking to me is that we see kids ODing and then doing it again and ODing again. What's the, why, why do they keep doing it? Uh, well, that speaks to the addictive nature of the substance. Um, this is an opiate. It's, it's very strong. WFA's also learned there's a 14-year-old Carrollton girl that's overdosed as many as four times since December 24th, in one case suffering temporary paralysis. I can only imagine the stress that those parents are going through. The sergeant's advice to other police departments, get ready. It's coming your way. When that first overdose occurs, investigate it fully and completely and try to identify the responsible party as quickly as you can. In Carrollton, I'm Tanya Eiser.